Greetings, infinite blessings, and welcome to another moment of now and another episode of Together We Rise. Today I'm going to share all the information that you will ever need in relation to how to connect to and to receive information, wisdom and guidance from your higher self as well as your guides and angels. So I'm going to first of all presume that you know what your higher self, this expression your higher self is referring to, your soul, your true self. I'm going to presume that you are upon your awakening journey, otherwise you wouldn't be looking for this information. And I'm going to presume, but then again, what presumption is the root of all suffering or expectation, which is a form of presumption. So I'm not going to presume anything. I'm going to go all the way back to the start and then all the way back to now again. So upon your awakening journey, you go through a period of time where you connect to your true self. You have glimpses of other realms of existence, other beings, and this magic that is housed within you begins to surface. Your soul's purpose is the reason for your existence. And the reason for your existence is to be you, to be truthfully and unapologetically you. Nothing else that you ever need do. So before I actually move on to how you go about connecting to your higher self and your guides and angels and the actual reason why we can condense all of those labels, knowing that a label only ever limits something to that label, to label something as your higher self brings an understanding to it, but then it limits it to only being understood as being one thing your guides and your angels again they are labels in truth it is all you you are the universe in completion experiencing itself your guides your angels your higher self they're all various aspects of the self of you so you are guiding yourself you are seeking guidance and wisdom from yourself you can do this by actually communicating now with your past self so you can go into a meditative state and you can go back in time to an experience that perhaps was less than beneficial or that you'd rather not have experienced in the way you did something that was heavy or hard to overcome and you can give that past self the information they needed to move forwards from with more ease bringing you to now with more ease and as well you can go forwards in time to connect to your future self to absorb and integrate all the information or the wisdom that you have then and bring it back to now this is all possible by accessing the realm of existence that is not able to be perceived within the physical so before we do go any further Please, if this video assists you or helps you in any way, shape or form, drop a like. Let us know in the comments how it helped you and enriched your life and share it with somebody else that it will assist. It is time to start as we have been starting already. It is time to really start to make the changes within and reflect them outside to bring about a world of true harmony and equality for all. That is what the purpose of my soul's mission is, my soul's quest or experience. I'm here to enrich the life of myself and in doing so everyone else. I'm here to be me, to be a conduit or a channel for the divine information and wisdom that flows through me, to share it with you so that you can take that information and do whatever it is you choose to do with it. If you can, I ask that you share it with others to enrich their life and continue that process. So, like, comment, 
and subscribe and all of that good stuff so that we can actually continue to grow the movement, grow the channel, reach more people, bring in more, let's say, technology, more equipment and broaden our distribution, make more direct information and get it out into the mainstream so that more people can receive it and use it. Namaste. So, to connect to your higher self or your truer self, all it takes is intention and belief. If you do not believe something, you will never be able to achieve it. And in truth, everything is a belief. To believe that you are spiritually awakening means that you are spiritually awakening. To believe that you are good or bad, then you classify and dictate yourself as good or bad. So let's simplify everything and start from the beginning, once again. Is the beginning not the end? Hang on my friend. Simplify, keep it simple. And that's what connecting to your higher self is all about. Wherever you do it, doesn't matter. However you do it, it doesn't matter. I would say it's most beneficial to sit in a area, in a surrounding that you are comfortable with him, that you know you will not be disturbed with him, and that you can become timeless with him. Allow yourself two or three hours, although the journey may only take two or three minutes, because in the alternative realm, in the astral, Time does not move in the same way that we experience it. There is no time. There is only now. It is only our perception of birth and death, of night and day, of the seasons around us, that we then have brought upon this almost restraint of time. I've said many times in the past, if I was Superman, my kryptonite would be time. Every time that I am timeless, I am free, and I am truly me. So to connect to your higher self, you ask. I've done some meditations on the mainstream meditation channel, actually guided meditations to connect you to your higher self. In principle, so that you can gain all the information that you need now, and use it in your own way, here we go. Create the time and space. Sit. Be mindful of everything that is taking place inside you and everything that has taken place or that you are expecting to take place around you. Allow it all, accept it all, release it all. Go in with no expectation and no desire other than to experience whatever it is that you experience. If you don't connect or communicate with any alternative beings then that was perfect as it would allow you the experience of not connecting so you know next time how to do it or how not to do it how to do it an alternative way sit and what i found most beautiful and beneficial was to go to my my waiting room mine is in a beach hut so if you close your eyes and you ask to meet your higher self, you may find that you are all of a sudden somewhere else, that you are floating or drifting down a path or through the woods or along the beach towards a building or a beautiful mighty tree. And you may find that in that tree there is a door, your door, your door that takes you to your waiting room Within that room, there is a protector, a doorkeeper. He will communicate with you and allow you to have a glimpse, a first connection of beings of unlimited potential and information that is hysterical, that is all around you at all times, that they can deliver to you in a way that your conscious mind can understand. And in this room, there is a second door. The doorkeeper keeps this door safe. This is your door to the astral. If you decide, when you decide, and however the door opens for you, 
travel through. Pay very, very specific reference and attention to the way that the door is, both doors, the door to the room and the door beyond it, the color, the size, the shape. Be aware of any smells and sounds that are relevant, any feelings within you. And as you travel into the astral through the door that your doorkeeper keeps protected and safe for you, know that it will open automatically for you when you return to the physical, that you are safe and secure in everything you do and everything that you experience is for the enrichment and benefit of you as well as everyone around you. If you are shown something that is slightly traumatic, a past event that you had tried to deny or hide away from, then that is being shown to you because it is most relevant to you. It is time to address the limitations of old so that you can transcend them and continue on to the new. The door will close behind you and it will open again for you whenever you desire to come back to the physical. It is all done simply by the will of the mind, the will of the mind, the will of you. It is your might to create, to experience, and then to surrender. It is all to do with you. It is only ever by you, from you, for you. And it is your belief that creates it all. Your consciousness that creates it all. If you were to close your eyes and consciously picture yourself flying, then that, my friend, is reality. It is not happening in this third dimensional realm of existence, but it is happening in the conscious realm. And everything that is physical was first conscious before it became materialized. You have to have a thought to create something before you have the capability of creating it. You have to understand how to create something in order to create it. Or you get to a point where you completely surrender, completely surrender all forms, shapes and sizes of egoic desire and just allow the source to flow through you, to guide you as though you were a leaf upon a tree. You don't try to grow any particular shape or size or color. You just grow, you grow however it is you grow. And if the winds of the wind, the winds, the winds of time and life blow you off the tree, then it is your time, your journey to take. And as you fall to the ground, there is a new adventure, a new beginning with the end, creating the start once again. No leaf is individual. Even on the floor is part of a larger collective. On the tree, it is easy to see it is one leaf amongst many. In a group of people with similar mind frames, similar frequencies of being, it is easy to feel that you are one of many. When you fall to the floor and you look up to those above you, you may think, oh, they have a better viewpoint than me. They are a nicer shade or color. This is only due to a previous understanding or belief. The truth is that the leaf on the floor will over time decay and turn into nutrients to help the actual regrowth of the new leaves upon the tree. The tree continuously nourishing and regrowing the tree. This is a beautiful expression and terminology. It is your mistakes in life that actually bring you to your benefits and enrichments. Every time that you fall over, it allows you to learn how to get back up again. And this is exactly the same as with connecting to your higher self, your guides and your angels. All you need to do is sit, hold the intention and you will experience it and guarantee you. How long it takes is dependent on how many barriers or blockades, how many obstacles that you place in front of yourself to overcome yourself. The higher self knows that you are worthy. It knows who you are. And it's this self that we are connecting to 
in order to infuse that information back into you. So anytime that you have a question, instead of looking online and asking Google or asking a friend, close your eyes and ask yourself. Start to practice using pendulums. Start to practice using dowsing rods or even tarot cards. There is different information that comes through. If you were to ask a pendulum to show you yes, and it spins in a particular way, show me no, and it spins in an alternative way. These two ways are you communicating with you. And again, your guides, your angels are you. They are varying aspects to you, higher or lower realms of frequency and vibration to you, but they're all part of you. Again, as all those trees are connected to one another, all parts of our beautiful, beautiful mother. Each leaf on the tree, creating the tree. Each tree upon the planet, creating part of her network and life force energy. Each one of us, conscious in our own rights, learning and expanding and evolving individually and actually causing the continued expansion and evolution of the collective. So this might not have been the answer that you were looking for. You might have wanted a step-by-step -step process of how to go about connecting to your higher self. As I say, there is a video that outlines that. Every step of the process. That is on the mainstream meditation channel. And it is listed as how to connect or how to communicate with your guides. It will take you on a complete guided meditation journey. This video was made as a reference point to remind you of the ability and power that rests and resides within you. As in truth, you don't need anybody else to tell you or do anything for you. You have the capability to do it yourself. My role is just to remind you of this to guide you, looking at it as though it's a journey through a rainforest. It's your journey to take, it's your journey to start, which you have done. And I commend you and applaud you for that. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart and my entire being for being here upon this earthly plane in this critical moment of universal consciousness expansion. And then it's your journey to take to discover the treasures found within the middle of the forest. And it is more beneficial to go with a guide. And that is my role. I am a guide, an awaken and ascension guide, a mindfulness and meditation teacher, and most, most powerfully, an a completion master, taking all those parts of yourself that are lost and fragmented across time and space and integrating them back into the self, back into you. So, when you have a guide that has walked the journey before, they can guide you and remind you not to eat that, not to touch that. How about look over there instead of over there? It is your journey to take. And as I have so often said, it is love that is the answer that you are seeking. It is love that is the treasure, at the center of the maze. And it requires a key. And again, the key is love. So the little rift or poem that was given to me five years ago or so now. So love is the answer. Love is the key. The key will unlock the door and set not only yourself but the whole world free. It is love. And upon my journey, I've been a discovery and awakening and expansion and connection to my true self. I went upon this journey through a foggy maze. And in this maze, I found a door. And in the door, or through the door, and through the cracks in the door and the crack underneath, I could see this beautiful light. And no matter how hard I tried to open the door or bash it down, because back then I was 18 stone of anger and muscle and rage wanting to fight. No matter how hard I tried, I could not break down that door. So then I surrendered and I released and I just lied there and cried, gave up. And it was in that moment of surrenderance that something happened. I was shown that actually the door required a key to open. And that key was found 
in the center of the maze, the center of me. The key that I discovered allowed me to unlock that door and set myself free. And that key was love. So I'm giving you the key. It's up to you to pick it up and to use it. It's up to you to remind yourself that you are your own guide, your greatest ally, as well as potential worst enemy. It's only ever you that undermines or defies you. And it's only ever you that will liberate and uplift you. It all starts and ends with you. So your guides, your guardian angels, your higher self, they are you. They will communicate with you when you open yourself up to receive that communication, when you feel worthy of receiving it. So whatever feeling of blockage or limitation, there will be a video created on the channel. We've got hundreds of videos now on the Cosmic Surfer channel. And as much as the mainstream has tried to silence and repress this channel and the information upon it, and many, many more like it, we are still recording and releasing this beautiful content. So please support us in supporting you. Comment, let us know. Just type higher self, guide or angel. Let us know that you're on this journey. Let us know where you are around the world. Let me know specifically how long you've been on your journey, what it is that you are seeking the experience of, what it is you desire to create or experience in this life, what is your soul's purpose, and what it is that's blocking or hindering or defying you from experiencing that now. If we know what's in our path, what's in our way, then we understand better how to move around it. Again, this is all part of the five steps, the five steps to freedom, which is a very, very powerful course, along with a lot of other courses, spiritual awakening, energy mastery, how to raise your vibration, the grounding course, the complete inner mastery course, all of these different courses, workshops, as well as live weekly connects, and a multitude of different rooms, let's say. Looking at the platform we've created, the Ambassadors of Light.info, as being a kingdom, a castle. And in the main room, we all come together. In the portal, the community chat, we all share and uplift and support one another. And then there's lots of different rooms. If you're interested in Divine Masculine Feminine, there's a room. If you're interested in just specifically energy work, there's a room. Mindfulness meditation, there's a room. There's a comical and uplifting room to bring that lighter and more vibrant side to spirituality. There's a sensuality and sexuality room. There's all these different access points and all these different frequencies within this larger portal so that together we can continue to uplift inspire and guide one another. Knowing that you and I, my friend, my sister, my brother, we're in this together, now and forever. United as one people on this one earth, governed by one love. United we stand strong. And together, together we will rise to new heights of potential and experience in all ways. Thank you, truly, thank you. And if you would like to connect on an individual level, if you would like for me to actually guide you upon a journey to connect to your higher self, your inner self, if you would like any specific information or content created, or even a particular version or style of meditation, let us know. We are here to serve. The service of others brings the service of yourself. The upliftment of others brings the upliftment of the self. And the expansion of my consciousness causes the expansion of everything else. Just think about it for a moment. The universe is continually expanding, right? I suggest that it's the expansion of consciousness that causes the expansion of everything else. Everything is universal consciousness experiencing itself. So as I expand my consciousness, the universe must expand 
in order to continue to house my expansion of self. Mind blown. This is just a snippet, surface level teaching compared to what is found within the inner mastery section. And if you choose to become an official ambassador of light and join us at the circle, join us as one of the patrons and actually take your seat at the table, then my friend, we will show you the very secrets written within the stars, the secrets that are discovered within your own heart. I love you. Thank you once again. Like and comment and all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe, share the video, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon.